Let's talk about the basic anatomy of a URL. Here's the URL for this page. Let's uh, copy it out so you can see it better. Um, the first thing you'll notice that it begins with HTTP colon slash slash. Uh, this is an identifier of the protocol that you're using to ask for a page. Uh, it's usually HTTP colon slash slash. Sometimes it's HTTPS, which is for a secure server. And you can actually put other things up here as the protocol. Most browsers will allow you to put FTP, for example, as a protocol. Depending on the plugins you have, you can do other protocols. But this is pretty common, HTTP. The next section, after this pair of slashes, is the domain of the server that you're trying to reach in order to get the, the uh, document. So right now we're looking for the document at www-sul.stanford.edu. That's the machine that we want to get the document from. The next set of um, slashes are the, uh, are the directory in which you're going to find the file. So in this case, it's actually a directory inside of a directory inside of a directory. Um, so you have the web root, which we'll talk about it in, a, in a later tutorial. Within that, we're looking for the department's directory or folder. Within the department's directory folder, we're looking for SPC folder. And within that folder, we're looking for the directory fuller. I'm using directory and folder interchangeably here. So we're looking for this particular directory, okay? Um, so this lets us kind of go through the, the steps to get to that directory so that we can find it. The next step is to look for the file itself. There's probably a bunch of files here inside the fuller directory. And we're saying we want to display the fac.html file. The .html uh, is an extension, but all of this is part of the file name. In this case, it's an HTML file that we're pulling up. Note that we could do another file, say .index.html. Every site will have an index.html, and so we can expect to find an index.html here in the full, fuller directory, and in fact we do. It's this right here. This is important. We can actually omit the index.html, and the browser will assume that we want is in what we want is the index.html file. So in this case, we haven't put index.html, but it is the exact same um, uh, page as if we had included the index.html. So index is the assumed page that you want to go to if you don't specify a file name. We haven't touched on a lot of things. Um, for example, if I search for monkeys, um, and you look at the URL up here, it's a scary one. It's got a long, long, interesting um, uh, set of actually variables. In fact, we can find the Q equals monkeys here, the query that we made to the search engine. Um, and we'll talk more about that when we start to talk about programming in PHP. You can also, and although this is done very rarely, include a username and password within the URL itself. And you can look into ways that you can do that. So this is a basic description. As we'll find later on with content management systems, sometimes the URL doesn't actually align with the directory structure of a server. But generally, that's where we start from. That's the starting point.